Hi, this is Andrew, and today I would like to teach you how to find the molar mass of potassium fluoride. I've created a nice little table to help us out. Bam, so the first thing I do is write down the elements I see. So we have potassium and we have fluorine. Next, then to identify the number of atoms, that's where the subscripts come into play. If there are no subscripts down there, it's assumed to be a one. So we have one of each. Then we're going to multiply those numbers of atoms by the mass of the elements. That's where the periodic table comes into play. So potassium is 39.10, fluorine is 19. So let's write them on in. So this is 39.10, and this was 19. Then to find the total mass of each element in the compound, we're simply going to multiply this row on together, right? So that's going to be 39.10. This is 19.00. And then all we have to simply do to find the total mass of the compound is just simply add this column on up, right? And this is now going to work out to be 58.10. Since we're solving for molar mass, the units here are in terms of gram per mole. That's how simple it is, right? That's it. Molar mass potassium fluoride. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you can. Check out our videos. We've got thousands of them out there, different subjects as well, physics and biology and uh, mathematics, whole bunch of stuff. See you soon.